Hey guys, what's up? This, this is the top 10 kids and family coasters. Number one, Sierra Sidewinder at Knott's Berry Farm. This roller coaster is amazing. It spins around and it has some good, and it has a good drop. It is very intense. Sometimes I even gray out on it. That's how intense it is. I don't know why it's classified as a family coaster. It should not be on this list. It's it's not a family coaster, even though not spare from classifies it as one. Num number two, Timberland Twister at S oh, wow. Timberland Twister at Knott's Berry Farm. Its roller coaster is is pretty good. It's good airtime hills. It's pretty aggressive. Reason it's it's just not not long at all. It's like. That's it. So, moving on to number three, Coast Rider at Knott's Berry Farm. This roller coaster is pretty good. There's a big drop at the beginning and then it turns. It feels like you're gonna fly off. For some reason, it feels a larger than Goofy Sky School and Techno Coaster, which is funny because number four is Goofy Sky School at um, yeah Disneyland. I mean. Disney California Adventure. Sometimes I get into parks. So roller coaster is the same as Coast Rider, but I like Coast Rider more for some reason. It's just that it's just that Coast Rider is in the open air, and Goofy Sky School is kind of surrounded by walls. Number five is Big Thunder Mountain Railroad at a Disneyland. So roller coaster has big drops, and it, it has great theming. It's just not very fast for me. Because it's just because I've been more extreme coasters. For my brother, for my mom, they were awesome. They thought it was awesome. Number six is Jaguar at Knott's Berry Farm. This roller coaster is pretty good. It's a long coaster with two lift hills, and it has some pretty good drops and a helix. It's just really not fast for me either. Number seven is Techno Coaster at Legoland. For some reason, I like Goofy Sky School and Coast Rider better than this one. I don't know why. It's just maybe because it's Legoland. Not a not a lot of coasters there. All of them are, all, all of them are pretty good. So yeah. Number eight is Coaster Saurus at Legoland. This roller coaster is very good. When I rode on it, I was scared of it, but now, now since I've ridden more, I um. So I'm not scared. I'm not scared of it anymore. Number number nine is Gadget Go Coaster at Disneyland. This roller coaster is pretty good. It has some good, big drops and a good helix. It's just that it's not very long. I think it. I think it, It's a little. It's a little forceful. A little bit. Yeah. Number ten is Tiger Mike at the defunct Boomers in Fountain Valley. This roll, this roller coaster, I don't even really classify it as a roller coaster, but RCDB does, so that's why it's on this list. And I don't even know why, but for some reason I get a kick out of it, and it's just really, it's really funny and stuff. It ha it has no theming, and it's, I don't really count it as a coaster. I mean, my yeah. So that concludes my list today. Like share, subscribe, and this is Coaster Slide signing.